Okay, we're going to do a lab on the settling rate of sediments in water and some factors that affect them. Now, this may be a little hard to see, um, but we'll, we're going to give this a try. I'm going to do some voice command on the small particles um, so we can practice. So you're going to need a stopwatch. Um, if I were you, um, I would use like your phone if you don't have a regular stopwatch because there is a stopwatch feature on your phone. Okay, so um, we're actually going to try to do some lab stuff here. All right, now uh, what we have is a, a plastic tube filled with water and I'm moving over here so my voice sound will change. And there's a line up here, okay? This is where we start, okay? So I'm going to drop things in here and we'll start when it hits this line and stop it when it hits this line. Okay, this thing in the middle and this here, these are supports, okay, to hold the tube up. So it's this line right here, and I tried to show you that, and this line right here, okay? <clears throat> now, the first one we're going to do is going to be really slow because it's small, okay? And since it's small, we might not be able to see it well, so I'm going to tell you to start. So pause if you need to get a stopwatch ready and then start it when you're ready, okay? Here I go. I'm going to drop it in. And I'll say start and stop for the stopwatch on the small ones to try to help you. Here we go. Start. Stop. Okay, write that in as trial one for the smallest bead size. Okay, which I think, I don't have my sheet with me, it's four millimeters. Okay, now we're going to do trial two, same size. Ready? You can pause at any time so you can get yourself ready. Hopefully you can see it, um, but maybe not. Depends on our Chromebooks, etc. I'm getting ready to do the next one. Start. Stop. Okay, that's trial two of the smallest size B. Now we're moving up to the next one, which I believe is seven millimeters. This one's blue. It might show up a little better. Remember, we're starting there, stopping there. Hopefully you can see this and you can do it on your own. This is going to be a little faster, so be ready. Okay, well, actually, it's easier for you at home because you can actually rewind. Okay, here we go. I'm going to be dropping it any time now. Start. Stop. Okay, that was trial one of the medium size, I think seven millimeter. And now I'm going to go to the next one, trial two. Okay, it'll be happening soon. Remember, start and stop. Start. Stop. Okay, now we're moving on to the biggest particle. These are white. Alright, so be ready again. Here we go. This one's going to be much faster. Start. Stop. And trial two. Remember to pause whenever you need to. Start. Stop. Okay, that is trial two of the biggest pieces. Okay? So make sure you got those in. Now we're going to move to the next. That was comparing particle size. Probably you noticed okay, that the bigger ones dropped faster. That doesn't happen in air, but it does in water. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to, we're testing some density. So what I have now is a marble. Okay. A marble. Actually, I have two of them. Marble. And then I took some clay and made a clay ball the size of the marble. Okay, so we're going to test clay versus marble. These are different materials, so they have different densities, and your densities are listed on your lab. Okay, here comes marble trial one. Hopefully you can see this without me doing start-stop, because this one is really fast. I bet you half of you at least end up rewinding this. Okay, I'm going to be dropping it very shortly, like... Three, two, one. Start. Stop. Ha <laughs> ha.
will do as fast. Here we go again. Ready, set, I'm dropping. Start, stop. Okay, trial one, trial two, write those down. Okay, now clay ball. Here we go. Start, stop. A little slower. Clay ball again. Start, stop. Okay, so hopefully most of you noticed the clay was slower. It's less dense. Okay. Third section is going to be shape. So I have six clay balls here. We're going to do two trials, leaving them as clay ball, even though we just did a clay ball. Then I'm going to flatten one to a disc about the size of a dime. And a second one like that. Okay, and now, again, this is riveting, riveting stuff right here. Okay, I'm going to flatten one out almost to the size of a quarter. Okay, same amount of clay basically, but now I'm just changing the shapes. So we'll study how the shapes affect how well it settles. Maybe you can make some predictions while you're watching me mold clay, which is really exciting. Oh yeah, Mr. May, that rocks. Okay. Here we go. Clay ball. Should be about the same amount of time as the last clay ball, but doesn't hurt to repeat it. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to be dropping it soon. Start. Stop. If that's messing you up, me talking, because now you can see it well, just turn the volume down. Okay. I'm going to drop it again. Ready? Start, stop. Okay, and and me talking, you know that's going to delay it. It's going to make it on not very accurate, but at least they're all the same amount of not accurate, so it, that kind of evens out. All right, it's really not great science, but you know nobody expects us to be perfect during all this uh, home teaching stuff. All right, so now we're up to the smaller discs. Okay. They are thicker than the bigger disc, but, you know, smaller in diameter. Ready? Get ready to drop trial one. Start. Stop. Trial two. Here we go. Start. Stop. Okay, now we're moving on to the bigger disc. Start. Stop. And second trial. Here we go. Start. <laughs> Stop. All right, that's all our measurements. So we'll be, uh, you know, getting our graphs together, uh, doing some averages and stuff. Uh, remember, you can rewind to catch those. Either go by my voice or if you can see it, that's probably better. If you can see them, it's probably better to do that measurement yourself without listening to me. All right, then you got some questions on that. That's all there is. Let me know if you have any issues. As always, have a nice day.